From coast to coast and around the world, it's time to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord covers the major Christian events in America and across the world from the heart of Europe. To the tip of Africa. From the centers of Asia. To Central and South America. You're part of the world's largest prayer and praise network. Join us on Praise the Lord from Cleveland, Akron, and Kenton, Ohio, as we bring you anointed pastors, evangelists, teachers, authors, and other special guests with testimonies and teaching to encourage and inspire and music to glorify God as we lift up Jesus Christ as Lord. Welcome to TBN and praise the Lord. I'm Brett Gleaspin from True Life Church in Marion, Ohio, and you've tuned in to a great program. Today, you are going to be blessed. It is not by accident that you're with us, and so just sit back, don't touch that dial, and just get ready uh, for God to do some great things in your life. I wanted to talk for just a second about some things that just I, I know have encouraged me. And, and if I could take a phrase from if you see it all the time on television, life comes at you hard. I thought so many times, Lord, I want to be able to do something so that at least I can figure out where I'm going and hopefully enjoy my trip on the way there. But the Bible talks about a guy named Shama. Shama was, and, and just for easiest sake, was a pea farmer. And, uh, and he had a, a, a plot of uh, garden, if you would, and, and Philistines were coming and just, just ruining everything. And he had had enough. I don't know about you, but there's times in my life where I've had enough. And, uh, and he made up his mind, they're not going to take his ground. They're not going to come. They're not going to do so. He grabbed a staff. And, and the Bible says that he held off all of those Philistines. And so if I could just give you a couple quick points that, that wherever you're at, because sometimes we see always the after effects. We see the things that we're, we're wondering, how did they get there? But if, if, if you'll just remember this, if we start where we are, that's number one. We start where we are, just wherever you're at, and just say, God, I'm going to start right now. I'm going to start right where I'm at. And secondly, I'm going to use what I have. You may not have all the things that somebody else has and all that. We don't want to get into covetousness. We don't get all that stuff. But if we just use what we got, start where we are, and number three, do what we can. That's like Shama. I'm just, I've had enough. I'm going to start where I'm at. Because here's the thing. The enemy is going to try to get us just to be uh, lazy and put things off. And if you'll start where you are, use what you got and do what you can. You're going to see God do some incredible things in your life because progress is always good. The more that we step out for God, the more that he just comes in and helps us out. So I'm, I'm really excited uh, just to see what's going to happen today on this, this program. I'm excited about the guests that we have. I want to encourage you just to call the prayer line at 888-731-1000. Again, that's 888-731-1000. You're going to love this guest. Willie Small is coming. He's going to sing a song, I Want to See Jesus. If I walk upon the streets as pure as gold, if I never set beside a crystal If I never see that mansion prepared to be my final home, I want to see Jesus cause he died. I want to look 
Thank you, Lord, for every drop of blood, oh, that flowed through Calvary. I want to see Jesus, cause he died for me. Thank you, Jesus. And if I don't see those walls of jasper are those 12 gates of pearly white look if I don't shade beneath that tree of light if I come his nail scarred feet I want to see Jesus cause he died for me thank you Jesus I want to look into those eyes of mercy oh that was for that was for me when I strayed Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord, for every drop of blood oh, that flowed through Calvary. I want to see Jesus cause he died for me. Amen, amen. Praise God. Well, I'm telling you, we're going to get to talk to Willie here in just a second. And I've got to meet with him just for a few moments. And I'm excited just to see uh, all of what God has done in his life. And, uh, you know, he's got a passion. And so when I got to talk to him a little bit, we found out a little bit about that passion. You know, that's the, the true mark of a man or woman of God. What makes them burn inside? What's that driving force that gets them to where they need to be? And, uh, and that's where we can find what the ministry is that God has for them. We can find, hey, we can grab a hold of that. We can make that thing happen, and we can, uh, we can be partners with that. So it's going to be exciting. I'm excited. Uh, Willie's with us. God bless you, Willie. Praise Good to God. have you with us. Praise God. Amen, brother. Praise Amen. God, brother. So this is, this is cool. Now, I, I mean, this, this uh, singing and uh, I, the voice. You got a great voice there. You can, Thank you, what, my brother. So, what are you doing? Tell me a little bit about your ministry. Tell us uh, so that we, you know, kind of get an idea of where you're at. And I understand also today is your birthday. Today's my birthday, and I Hot couldn't, dog. I couldn't, uh, you know, celebrate it in a better place. Praise than TBN. God. Praise God. And I made a new friend, so this is yeah, all good. Yeah. This is all good. Well, tell me about yourself, so we can find a little more about Willie. Well, I was, uh, I've, I've been in the ministry for the last 20 years since 1989. Okay. Willie's been like 22 years. Wow. I've been in the ministry of uh, singing uh, for Jesus. Yeah. Mostly, I started off as a song worshiper at Cornerstone Church. All righty, all righty. In, in Bear, Delaware. And um, my pastor, I was a backup for him okay. for the longest time. I was a backup for my pastor, Pastor Ham Parker. And one day, he looked at me about six months later, and he said, you got it. Take it. So I kind of like froze. So you kind of got the, the mantle type thing. Yeah, you I go. passed it, it on to me, and I, yeah, I, sure. I, I froze. Sure. I said, Pastor, I said, I'm not, I'm not ready for this. He said, get up there. And here's the congregation of people, and I'm like talking back and forth ah. to the pastor. He <laughs> said, get up there. He pushed me out there. Sure. But the anointing of God fell upon me in the song worship. And ever since then, i just been moving in song worship. You know, what's amazing about one of the things you just said that, you know, I've found, um, you know, Eagles, 
you know, fly alone, you know. So if you're going to be an eagle, you, you, you kind of tend to not fly with a bunch of turkeys. Not in a bad way. I mean, in a yes, good way, yes, you know. Yes. You know. But how a mother gets the eaglets out of the nest, they make that nest, it's all thorny and it's very uh, uncomfortable. But while they're babies, it's all cushioned. She's got all kinds of stuff in there. But mm -hmm. when she wants them to fly, she takes all the stuffing out so I that like it keeps that. pricking them until they finally, they can't stay there any longer. So they got to, they got to make the leap. So your pastor basically, he's like, it's time for you to make the leap. Yeah, well, he, he wasn't taking up the stuff in a little bit of time. He, he just <laughs> oh, okay. pushed me on out there. There you go, brother. <laughs> 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 well, you know, what? tell me tell me some of your inspiration. Obviously, your pastor, um, my pastor your family. Yes, what do you? my pastor, um, of course, my mother. Mm -hmm. She was a big inspiration to me and always been backing me up, praying sure, for me and all. Sure. My dad's an evangelist. Okay. So, so you got some of that in your blood a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, Carmen. Singer Carmen. Uh, I'm with you I on that. I love Carmen, you know. Yeah. He's like a big revival in the land. Uh huh. When I first heard that CD, it like changed my life, like something. Yep. This blood's for you. Yes, yeah. Oh man, I cried so many times. I still cry when I Absolutely. hear that CD with the anointing of God upon that man's life. Sure, sure. Yeah, Carmen, I, I've always loved Carmen. I, yeah. I, I think we talked in the green room. Carmen's always been one of my favorites. I've sang many of his songs for years. And so. I got to meet the Crab family. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Got to meet um, all the Crab family, and, and I love their music too. There's a lot of beautiful singers out there. That's yes. anointing of God. Absolutely. Now, I mean, I'm now, and again, this is just just me. I'm I'm listening and, and watching you, and I, I hear a little, uh, almost a, a, an Elvis issue in there. E that's, yeah, you yeah. know, I'm saying, yeah. you know, it's yeah. right there. Well, it's, we're kind of like adopted family. Since okay. Youth, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's I, yeah, but I that's you know what that's. I, I like that because you're not you're being you you're you know and that's yes. just kind of how it falls into place. Yeah, I was I've sung a lot when I really tried to sing like him, mm -hmm. like growing up playing like little boys growing sure, up. Sure, sure. And then I got so where I didn't want to you know I tried to get away. Right. And get on my own. Uh huh. But uh, I did, he does know, bleed through a little bit. Uh, well,